What's going on you guys? Appreciate you guys being back here for another video. Today, out here shooting a new rifle. Uh, just picked it up Thursday of last week. Today is Sunday. Uh, shot a few rounds down range last week, last Thursday, and then took it out to the squirrel woods and killed a couple squirrels. So, been a pretty fun little rifle so far. This here is the Bagara BMR, chambered in 17 HMR. Today, I'm just shooting some CCI varmint. Uh, I've got four other boxes, Hornady and some other CCI as well, and we'll take a look at that stuff a little bit later and uh, see what group's the best. But for now, I'm just shooting some of the CCI varmint, uh, kind of getting a, a better idea where I need to be, be sighted in out just for squirrel currently. And then I got some other ideas for some stuff in the future. So today I just sighted it in, uh, shot a little bit more up closer, probably about 30 yards, just I wanted this to be dead zeroed at about 30, 25 yards, just good for squirrel. Stretched it back here just only to 50 yards. Today it's super windy and um, just mainly want to show you guys this rifle and kind of give you some specs, some rundowns on it. And we got a clean target down there. We're going to shoot five shots. Um, it's not going to be hitting bullseye, but I just want to see where it's grouping at today with this wind and just uh, kind of give this a quick run through. So let's Fire a few downrange here and see what she'll do. Once again, this is a clean target here. I'm just aiming for the red center bullseye. And we'll see where these five land. little high as expected. Not bad. Actually, I'm just going to shoot three there. That's a pretty decent group. Uh, being only at 50 yards, put this on safe. Being only at 50 yards, there's no reason to waste ammo here. Um, we'll stretch it up to 100 one of these days, but today I'm just giving you guys a quick run through um, of the new rifle here. Please ignore this. This is how I record uh, the squirrel hunting videos. Put my smaller camera mounted up there and it's able to obtain the footage where my rifle barrel's pointed that camera's going to follow right there so that's what that's for continues to get windier and windier here um, we'll go down check this target show you guys what kind of group this did at 50 yards and uh, we'll go from there been changing the range around just a little bit here got kyl for 22 and 17 right here and this over here is for center fire and I need to do some work. Uh, that's 22 as well in rim, or uh, 22 and 17. I need to do some work back here. Got the materials. I just haven't changed it yet. But I have new chains and new bolts for they, these right here. That one's okay. We'll get some updates made to that. But here's how that grouped. Minute of squirrel all day long, 50 yards. Like I say, later on in the future, we'll stretch that out to 100. Shoot some other ammo, but for today, uh, we're just kind of seeing where it groups and out here shooting just a little bit, getting some more rounds through the barrel, get it seasoned. This comes factory with a speckled synthetic stock. Actually, for a synthetic factory stock, it's not too bad at all. I did do what I do on a lot of my rifles, made my own cheek riser here. Let's have some foam under here. And then this is horse athletic tape. Wrap it around that. Uh, you guys have probably seen that on the channel. Do that to quite a few of my rifles. Has a really good bolt throw. It's actually mirrored off of the Remington 700 action. Uh, just a smaller size, of course. The uh, trigger there, it is adjustable. I have it adjusted all the way out. Pretty nice option there. It does have a loaded chamber indicator. Safety, just like you would see on Remington 700. Right now, I just have a cheap Vortex Diamond back on it, 4 to 16. 
And this here is how I record my squirrel hunting videos. This does come with two magazines, one 10 rounder and a five rounder right there. So that's a nice option. It's got my Harris bipod and then uh, comes with the built-in from the factory 30 MOA rail and it does have a carbon fiber barrel. Wanting something a little bit lighter just for packing through the woods, shooting squirrels, shooting raccoons, possum, things like that. Try to help out the turkey population around here. Uh, so that carbon fiber barrel does help. And I think this is about 5.2 pounds. Suppressor is a dead air mask that you guys have seen quite a bit. And that is it. Pretty sharp little rifle. Decent shooter so far, been happy with it. Like I say, probably only, I'm gonna guess 30 rounds now, if that. No, probably closer to 20 actually. Um, but been happy with it so far. The bolt throw, you can see right there. It's hard to tell on video, but it's real smooth. Machine really well. All in all, just a nice little rifle. Pretty happy with it so far. and. Anxious to continue to break it in, get more rounds down range, and I uh, got some future ideas for this little rifle. So make sure and stay tuned for that, plus some more ammo testing. We'll get it out here one of these days and stretch it out just a little bit and see what ammo uh, shoots the best, groups the best for this rifle. And uh, I'm going to continue to shoot a little bit more, and you guys stay tuned for the next one. Happy hunting. Be safe. See ya. Bye.